Well said, it's indie developers we have to rely on for spiritual successors, right? Oh, God. Ban... We didn't even get ban... Technically, we've never gotten Banjo 3E. We just got Banjo Nuts and Bolts. Which was the stupidest decision. It wasn't even advertised as what it actually became, right? Like, when, in 2000... I remember this distinctively, right? I'm pretty sure it was 2006. Because, like, for five years, we didn't hear nothing. Like, we heard nothing about Banjo... Uh, Banjo 3E. But then we got a... Um, a trailer... For... A new Banjo game. And it had, like, notes. It had the jiggies. It had, like, all these classic things that were, like... It was... It, pointed to a collectathon and we were all excited and then banjo nuts and bolts came out and then i wanted to kick something because that is not banjo kazooie that's not what we loved about ban it's like people want us to love the think we love the character and so as long as the character's in the game they don't care no no uh john tron actually had an interesting theory he thinks that there was a Banjo 3E in development that was meant to be for the GameCube. However, and he can't prove this, he says, but all of these worlds are huge. Like in, in Banjo Kazooie and, and Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, it was jam packed. Like you turn a corner, there's stuff there. That, that was not shiny. Okay, that's not shiny. Okay. Freaking out. Like, you turn a corner, there's stuff. Like, you know, every there's stuff everywhere. There's stuff to collect. There's people to talk to. There's jiggies to get. Like, there's stuff everywhere. In Banjo Nuts and Bolts, you have these massive areas that have nothing in them, really. And so we can't prove this, but basically, it seems as though they took, like, the assets for a canceled banjo game and turned it into a car game. Does that make sense? That seems to have been like why or like a possibility, an explanation. So and it's not a, it's not a bad theory. And I've ne here's the thing, I've never played Nuts and Bolts, but I've seen gameplay of it. Are there speedruns of Nuts and Bolts? There's gotta be. There's got- there's- <gasps> Oh! Whoa! Whoa! That's shiny! That's shiny! That's shiny! We got it! We got it! That is, yeah, no, I'm seeing sparkles. I'm seeing sparkles. That's a shiny. There, there are speed runs of nuts and bolts, by the way. There's an any percent speed run for one hour, 30 minutes, and then a hundred percent speed run for four and a half, but doesn't matter. I'll check those out later. I'll probably watch those like later when I'm making videos, but anyways, sorry. We got, we have, we have the shiny, man. It's here. It's, I'm, we're ready. It's happening. This is it. It's my sh- if it'll get to it. Shiny, shi- That's a shiny Pokemon, let me access it! Oh my god, don't scare me like that, game. Jiminy Christmas, okay. Yep, we got- Hey, there it is. The shiny Goldeen that I will refuse to let get away- I'll use- I'll use an Ultra Ball. I'm running low on Ultra Balls, this is not good. I need to fight the Elite Four- Oh, don't move, hey! There it is. Thank you. See, now it's secure. Oh, I need nicknames, by the way. Oh, I need nicknames for Goldeen and Scyther. I I never nicknamed Scyther my last episode, so please, nicknames for Scyther and Goldeen. Uh, I kind of almost want to name it Misty, to be honest. Um, all right, so if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to... Um, burn your copy of Nuts and Bolts because Nuts and Bolts 
so bad. But also like the video and subscribe and go follow me on my main channel. All that amazing stuff while I get this Goldeen all set up. I couldn't name it Golden. I couldn't name it Kazooie. <laughs> oh. Uh, I could name it Tui. I'll just replace you for now. Um, that's funny. It's a Golden Goldeen. Um, change the markings. I would like to think that the developers, like, made this shiny golden because it's called Goldeen, but I know that's not the case. Check out the summary real quick. Uh, it's a lax nature. Uh, you know, all those are its stats, you know, it's whatever. Um, and let me see here. I don't think Goldeen will follow me. In, in, uh, yeah, it, it, it'll follow me on land. It's, it's so weird that it's, it's just going to float. Or will it bounce? Hold on. How, how is this going to look? Oh, no, it floats. All water Pokemon have some sort of psychic ability to float. It's fine. This this is the thing that happens. That's fine. Okay. So, I'm going to save once more. All right. What are, what are we thinking, like, name-wise for uh, for our Pokemon here? And Because I, I also need one for Scyther. Because um, I mean, we're talking about Banjo-Kazooie. Might as well name it Kazooie. No, they're... All water Pokemon are secretly also psychic type. Right? Just some just don't hide it, like Slowpoke. A Unicarp? It's a magical Unicarp! Ugly Barnacle. I'm gonna name I'm gonna name it Kazooie just because of the conversation we were having. Change name. Alright, so that's Kazooie. What are we gonna name the uh the the, the shiny Scyther I have? Help me out here. Because I'm trying to think of names like really quick off the top of my head. Um, it's a female Scyther. Magikarp flops. Everybody do the flop. Reap, Reaper, Cutlass. I like Cutlass. I do like, I actually really like Cutlass. Because it's a, it's a play on words. It's Cutlass and Cutlass because it's a girl. I don't know. I'll go with Cutlass. No, Cutlass. I like this better. <laughs> Cutlass. Cutlass. Okay, there you go. Cutlass. I'm gonna let Cutlass follow me. Hooray! I love this shiny side there. Alright, that's the end of the reaction. I'm gonna move on to something else. Uh, oh, and that's going to be 81 for the living decks. All right, moving on. One last shiny hype in the chat. Let's go.